Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. Today is the day, 2024 Tops Series 1 Hobby Jumbo. I'm going to be doing one Hobby Jumbo today. I'm going to have what I'm going to call the Hobby Case Chronicles, which is going to be coming out. That's going to be, I'm ripping an entire regular Hobby Box case. That's 12 boxes and I'm going to do one box a day. Um, so we'll see what I can get out of a sealed case. Not, I don't, like I said, I don't have sealed cases of jumbos, but hobby case chronicles for the regular hobby case of this. And then I got a special video with another jumbo, two jumbo boxes. That's going to be one of my, my other jumbo box going against, um, one of the subscribers of the channel. We're going to do like a box battle and see whose jumbo was better. But today is just going to be this one here. We're going to get one auto, two relics. Two silver packs. I love the jumbo format for tops. Um, it's always the best to get parallels. If you have not seen it, go check out my two videos I have on this. The print run video shows you what the print run is for each non-numbered card. And then I also have a product preview that highlights what rookies uh, to look for in this set. This set has three main rookies. Ellie De La Cruz, Jason Dominguez, and Evan Carter. And then there's a bunch of other really good rookies as well. But I'm super, I, I did not watch any breaks of this on purpose because I'm just really excited to see these for the first time myself. So let's get into it. Here's the two silver packs. And let's get into it. Pack number one. So excited for this release. I love, um, I love the design, and this is my first chance to see it in person. Yeah, I do love this design. There's going to be a little bit of pop control going on here with this black border, but the design is great. So I'll fly through the base, um, but I'll show you what they are. I'm not going to go super fast. There's J-Rod. Nice. And we got a relic right off the bat. Trey Turner. Game used memorabilia. I love the game used stuff. There's a Trey Turner right off the bat relic. Nice. Celebration of the kid. I'm very excited about these set. This set. Griffey was my favorite player growing up. Um, and I have an extensive Griffey collection that I'm going to showcase on the channel eventually. So these are really cool. We have a turned around card here. We have it's a rainbow foil. For Renigfo, Luis Renigfo. We have, that's Ellie, baby. We're starting off nice. <laughs> Ellie de la Cruz. Um, I don't know this insert. Like I said, I didn't watch Bat Ferocity. Is that the name of the insert? Card's in great shape. Um, yeah, I don't know the name. I don't know that insert off the top of my head. Don Mattingly, 89. Austin Hayes, Duran, Dane Dunning, Reds. There's Strider. I, I like this design. I don't know. I saw some people didn't like it. I, I'm not I'm not one of those people. Colton Kowser, he's an interesting rookie in the set. Very interesting guy to watch this year. Same with Noel, Nolan Shanuel. Quinn Priester. There's just a lot of guys. Sedane Raphael, I pulled his auto out of Bowman. There's just a lot of guys that I want to watch this year. Here's a future, oh cool, the future stars look totally different. They got like a, it, I don't know that that's a foil, but it's it looks like it. That's really awesome. Grayson Rodriguez, I like that. Naylor, Tatis, Marco Luciano is another guy. And Matt Manning, nice first pack. Ellie De La Cruz and a Trey Turner game used jersey. Luke Rayleigh. Buxton. There's Evan Carter. This is one of the rookies you're looking for. Mr. Evan Carter. These cards are in great, great condition. There's not chipping on the edges, which is what you worry about. Michael Harris, second year now. It's weird saying that already. Here's a home run challenge card. Frankie Lindor. We have a gold foil. These are hobby exclusive. Um, maybe jumbo exclusive, actually. Gold foil, Ryan Presley. Miguel Cabrera, greatest hits. This is a very common insert. And 89, Sedane Raffaella, nice. 
Blade, the Mets, Nico Horner, Garrett Cole. The League Leaders cards look really cool too. Yeah, I like this set a lot. My uh, my bank account might be hurting me after this. I might need to work some overtime. <clears throat> Pete, Bobby Witt, Rosarina, Jacob Amaya, Cano, and Castro. Next pack. Mauricio Dubon, Donovan, Nick Robertson, rookie. More league leader stuff there. Brian Wu, rookie. We have a Miguel Cabrera, gold foil. You will always take a future Hall of Famer gold foil, and he is absolutely one of those. Jose Altuve with the greatest hits. 89 design, Byron Buxton. Canning, Freeman, Lowe. There's Mike Trout. First look at him. Valdez, Tyler O'Neill. I love not watching breaks on brand new products because I get to see, you know, in my hands what they look like first. I'm weird like that. Sometimes I watch breaks, but sometimes I just avoid them all together. I also want to be surprised with a jumbo as to, you know, what I'm going to, what I could potentially get in terms of how many rainbows, how many gold foils, how many, you know, all that stuff. So how many numbered cards. James Italian, Shea Langoliers, Elites of the Game. There's Shohei and Betts. That's cool. There's a rookie you're looking for, Luis Matos. Tons of talent. Andy Ibanez, Castillo, Joe Jock. There's an autograph. Darius Vines. I don't know anything about Mr. Darius Vines, but that is a sticker auto. Braves pitcher. Here's a rookie gold foil, Brian Wu. It's cool. All tops team, Ronald Acuna Jr. Miguel Cabrera, 89. And more base. I'm just trying to see where the Ellie, there's a Sturry Ruiz second year. I'm trying to see where Ellie falls in the coalition. Because typically the, so here's an Ellie on the Reds team card. Hopefully I get an Ellie. <laughs> That's cool. Kyle Tucker, Adolis, and J-Rod. There's a Soderstrom rookie. Another interesting rookie. Henry Davis, former number one overall pick. Hunter Green. Definitely not the auto you're looking for, but that's the way this stuff goes. I mean, you're not going to rip a box and hit an Ellie auto in every box. <laughs> Curtis Mead, rookie. He's another interesting rookie for this set. Cup card for Matt McLean, second year. Future stars for O'Hoppy. We have a numbered gold. Numbered down at the bottom is going to be a gold out of 2024. Nick Senzel, the golds are really nice. These are going to be, these are highly coveted every year if you get the right guys. And those, I, I don't imagine that changing. Here's a rainbow foil rookie, Isaiah Campbell. I don't know much about Isaiah. Grand Gamers, Carl Yastrzemski. <clears throat> Jordan, 89. And back to the base. There's a rookie that I'm looking for. This is one of my underrated rookies of the set, Zach Geloff. He had a great war in his rookie year. He was fantastic. Very interesting player. Westberg's a decent rookie. There's not a, I don't think there's a ton of high, like super high upside for Geloff, but he reminds me of one of those guys that's just going to play in the league for a really, really, really long time, which over time will increase the values of his rookies slightly. You're not going to be rich off of them, but they could double, you know, in value as he, as he goes along. Okay, Jose Barrios is going to be the rainbow. So decent amount of rainbow and gold foils so far. Pete Alonzo, greatest hits. Jose Ramirez from 89. There's Volpe's future stars. Coalition, Sal Frelick. <clears throat> That's a good one. Coalition's been good so far. There's Adley. What I mean by that is I'm not seeing, you know, a ton of doubles. Nick Gonzalez, rookie card. There's Corbin Carroll's cup card. Nice. 
Keep in mind, guys, the cup cards, you know, I know it's not a rookie, but they still sell pretty good if you hit like a gold, if you hit like a gold foil for the Corbin Carroll cup card. You know, that's that's not terrible. Uh, manufactured relics in here. You can see it right there. Could I sing a cup card? We have a Brandon Marsh. This is a thick. Oh, it's game used. I thought this was going to be a manufactured relic. I'm very happy it's not. Brandon Marsh, 2023 postseason performance. Holy crap, it's numbered to 25, so that's a big hit. Nice. It says game used memorabilia, but it does not say any specific game. That might be like some kind of a gold parallel. You can see the gold um, at the bottom of the card. I mean, it's numbered to 2020, or excuse me, to 25. So that's cool. Camilio Duvall, gold foil. So here's a trout as the same as the Ellie. So that tells me that the Ellie's not super, super rare. Um, this is probably just a base sensor, but still really cool. I, I like the looks of these. I don't even know what they're called, but I like the look of them. Cal Ripken, 89. Back to the base. The best part about buying hobby in my, oops, I thought that was Ellie, is uh, the silver packs. I love opening those silver packs. Once in a while, you get an extra auto, you know, that's not guaranteed in the box because you end up with an auto out of the silver pack. Now at the end there, we got some doubles, you see. Still no base, um, still no base Ellie. Just the insert so far. Yuri Perez. There's Ronnie Acuna. Here's a blue. That's a blue parallel for 89 for a potential future Hall of Famer, Joey Votto. I like that a lot. We have gold foil Hayden uh, Wisniewski. I think that's the second year for him. Roberto Clemente, Grand Gamers. We pulled the Yastrzemski of that earlier. Bryce Harper, 89. Nice shot. There's Mickey Moniak. Ellie's got to be hiding. There's Ronnie Mauricio. I'm a Mets fan, so I'll be collecting his uh, rookie cards for sure. Emerson Hancock. Interesting pitcher for a rookie. Ellie is hiding from us. Where are you, Ellie? Let me just move this stack over before I have an avalanche here. You get a lot of... A lot of cards with Jumbo. Two packs left. So last two packs. And then the two silver packs, obviously. Trey Cabbage. It's interesting. Cunha and Freeman on that League Leaders card together. Astros no-hitter card. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Celebration of the Kid. I'm going to be trying to complete this set. I already know myself, and I'm definitely going to try to complete it. Christian Yelich, Rainbow Foil. J-Rod, Greatest Hits. Uh, where did my pile go? There it is. Greg Maddox, 89. All right, we are going to be down to the last pack to see if we can find an Ellie, unless he's in here. Pretty crazy to not even get a base Ellie out of a jumbo if it if that's what happens. But in all honesty, I'd rather have the insert because I know I'm going to get an Ellie in my hobby case. So this is the last pack here, and then let's get the silver packs. Leody Tavares. There's Mount Castle. Here is Orlando Arcia. Rainbow Foil. Derek Jeter for that um, insert. Whatever these are called. Will Clark, 89. So that's going to do it. Can we get an Ellie at the end? We cannot. So no base Ellie's in a whole jumbo hobby. That's very interesting. All right, well, we got two silver packs here. So, silver packs are the best. I love these. 
If we have any color, we'll save that for last. This one does not have any color. Nolan Ryan, nice. Clayton Kershaw. Ronnie Mauricio, that's my boy. And Andrew McCutcheon with some kind of uh, ad insert. We'll put Mauricio up on the stand. Last pack. No color for us. Luis Matos, though. That's a nice rookie. Goldschmidt. Adolis Garcia. And the last card is Byron Buxton. So that was pretty decent. I mean, this card being numbered to 25 really made the whole break here. Trey Turner Relic. The auto was a, a kind of a no-name guy. Um, Darius Vines. Nice Ellie rookie insert. Ronnie Mauricio out of the silver pack. We did end up with a blue 89 of Joey Votto, which is kind of cool. One, two, three, four, five rainbow foils. And I believe one, two, the same amount of gold foils. So you get 10 foils overall. Um, the thing I was surprised by is only one numbered card. We had one gold out of a whole jumbo. Now this was numbered. But just regular card that's not a relic or an auto, just one numbered card out of the jumbo. So we'll see if that's rare or not in the jumbo uh, box battle that I end up doing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, make sure to check out my Hobby Case Chronicles when I crack that whole case of this stuff. See you later.